sitting at home looking for my video game. Guess you can call us Video Bros. All right, guys, welcome back to Video Bros. Kevin's not with us yet, but he's able to hang out for once tonight, which I'm shocked by. And Why is this like it's... place so like darkish, but not dark at the same time? That's yeah. right. We had the we had the um the thermal visor. Okay. Yeah. Oh yeah, those are those uh the Zapathon drones. I want them to deliver my package. <laughs> I destroyed them. Did you do? Does Samus ever have like a baby? Who? Samus. No. That... No, because then I can say she can deliver her baby. <laughs> She's an orphan, though. I know that. To who? To Mother Brain? No, just in general. She's a fucking orphan. Her parents were killed when she was. Oh, old. I thought you meant. Okay, I thought you meant like an orphan that was adopted. Okay, no, no. Well, she was adopted. By who? The Chozo. Okay. Yeah, they're her adopted family. Because her parents were killed by space pirates when she was like. See, look, they're supposed to be, look, look, yo, yo, they're invisible. You missed it. You saw that? They're invisible. That's, yes, I did. That's why you stop seeing them when you get the th the thermal visor. Well, you stop seeing them when you get the thermal. Yeah, because then it's like, oh, you're supposed to use it to find them because they're invisible. Oh, is that boss gonna fight? He's on the door to the right. But Ooh. first, you gotta, you gotta. Stock up, I guess. Nah, first I'm just gonna save. I'm stocked up on everything. And also, Sean, let yes. us do a toast. Let's do it! Give me some of that. What we are doing right now, we're using the vape cube we talked about last night when we were doing a recording session last night. The only thing that would be more awesome would be Oh, look, you have to find, like, outlets. Oh, like, though they're hidden like, too. You have to I find, like, that. Conduits. First, you have to like destroy them with the super missile. Uh, there. And now, watch this. I can lock on. That's also why you need a thermal visor because it finds hidden power conduits to power up doors and shit. The only thing that would be more awesome than this is if we could actually play Metroid on the VQ. That would be awesome. You see Samus like smoking like. Cookies and cream flavored hookah, or like, like bubblegum flavor. Like, like just take a hose and connect it right to her arm. Yeah, so I know where. And then hookah's one of her um, what do you call it? Her um, special abilities. attacks and Smash Bros. Brawl's her final smash. All right, so you see this thing? Yo, look. This is Reggie Rock's cousin. And now we're about to fight his cousin. Love bubblegum. All right. This may look like a pile of rocks, but wait just a few seconds. I'm gonna do some hookah. I don't really like that flavor that much. What, is this is a mixture flavor, right? Oh, you know what my friend did? What? He, you legit, you can do it. If you get like a paper cup or, or a glass or whatever, you smoke into the glass and you pass around and you drink from the glass. Drinking hookah? Like, like, you just, like, you, like, you take, you take, you take a hit of hookah, you take a hit of this, and you blow it into the, into the glass, and you have the smoke stay in there, and you keep doing it for a while until the whole thing fills up, and you pass it around and you, like, you're drinking it. The hell? I've never done that. Sounds weird. It's yeah, pretty cool. Alright, I'm not judging people that do do that, I just, I don't think I'd rather just do the real thing than doing that. So this creature's name is Thardus, and he's infected with Phazon. That's how he's powered up. Phazon? Yeah, Phazon is a source of poison. You find out more about it going forward into the game. Grant, you buy the poison you you that? Yeah, that's what I gotta do. Oh, that was fat. No, no, you have to keep attacking his weak points like that, and then they turn blue because Phazon's blue. That's shot in the knee. Yeah, <laughs> because Phazon's blue. And now he rolls up in a big ball, and I gotta roll the fuck away from this asshole. You can't run. Oh, that's right, you have to boost. Yeah, that's... You the morph ball boost. I have, to, I have to out-boost him, dude. I gotta outboost him. And Kevin's coming over in a bit, people, so we're gonna have four people on the show for the first four, we should do a time four ever. Again. Then again, I don't know what four we should do. That, we that's do. why I didn't bring any special games. I just stuck to doing this as normal. I mean, normal. I have... I know, I know what game we could play. Super Hookah Sunshine. I'm good with that. Sure. Calm down. The game controller needs to chill the fuck out. Why? Because... Whoa, 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 that was close. 
Because it was like moving backwards by itself. I hate when it happens. The game's just like, nope. This is what you get for giving me a, a, a non a non brand controller. I didn't know it was not branded until afterwards. So it was not branded? Because when I bought it, it said Nintendo. Of course it said Nintendo. You're not gonna. That's, go that's fucking false advertising. Alright, so we're a quarter way through the fight, I guess. Oh, you know what's awesome? And now look, he starts summoning, summoning like thunder and shit. Oh shit. Yeah, so I can't even do shit right now. He was like, rise from your graves. Oh, uh, Alter Beast. <laughs> we gotta buy that on the Sega Genesis. I have the, and, and, yeah, I, but we can't play two player on that. I know, I have. We don't have emulator or anything. Like. I'd rather have the real thing, that way we can actually like play it on my Genesis. Of course. Though, actually, emulation, emulation would probably look way better, because on my Genesis it would look like shit. Oh, well, on, on... Because of that program. Yeah, it would be a lot better. So, but... Like, the same shit happened with Robocop vs. Terminator and Sonic. Oh, Sean, by the way, we saw Guardians of the Galaxy last night. How was it? It was fucking um, awesome. It was amazing. I can fucking say... Fucking awesome movie, but it was way different from all the other Marvel movies. It, wasn't... it, was, it was like a comedy more than a, an it, action thing. It wasn't your typical Marvel superhero movie, because... There was so much jokes into it and everything, yeah, more, th more, th more so than any other comedy, like, uh, more so than any other Marvel movie. You know what it remind me of? It had, like, a lot more jokes put into it. You know what it remind me of? And they were of? all funny. Bradley Cooper as Rocket was so fucking funny. He was. You know what that movie remind me of, though? And he's good looking. Uh, Peter, oh, you know when Peter turned, uses his helmet? What? You know when Peter, um, Peter used his helmet? Like just to to breathe and shit out outside. Yeah. And it reminded me when he, when he, when he first put it on in the beginning of the movie. It reminded me of Killzone. Sorry, people, if I blinded you. It reminded me of Killzone. Hmm. Like Colonel Rad. Oh, I have big news for you, Jeff. I was talking to Sean right before we came here about this. Um, people, if you don't know this, look it up. Just to find out more information than just hear me blab on about it, but. In the future, in the future, for those of you who watch that show, The Strain, like me, my brother, and uh, our friend Kyle do every Sunday night. The Strain. Yeah, it's like a like a show about like people getting infected by a disease and they like turn into kind of like zombies, except they're fast, unlike normal zombies and other things. Uh huh. And uh, it's these like worms that infect people and oh, they take over their bodies. Speaking of zombies, I'll tell you later, but and uh, they like, make the person bald usually, mm -hmm. but like. It was based off a book series, not like a comic book, but it was like actual books. Uh -huh. And there was only like three books before they even made the started to make the show. The show's fairly new. It's going on. It's like six episodes this upcoming Sunday. What's the big news? Um, the big news. I was getting to that. Is all right. You know, we all know who Hideo Kojima is. Oh, he's making Silent Hill. Um, not exactly just that. Oh, all right. You see, know about that though. Listen to this. Okay. Hideo Kojima and Del Toro, the creator of the show The Strain. How is he part? How is they he? are collaborating together on making the next Silent Hill game, and yeah. they're calling it Silent Hills. And also, the actor Norman Reedus is going to be the main character. Yeah, I heard about that. Norman Reedus played Daryl in The and Walking Dead, who's the most loved character in the show. I was about to show. talk about The Walking Dead also. He's one of the most loved characters in the show. He's a badass redneck with a crossbow. He's fucking awesome. I'm gonna tell you about they're making a new a, a, a new but different kind of Walking Dead game. Yeah, I know. They're supposed to make another new one that's more similar to the show rather than the freaking no, the, the comics or the, the no, Walking there's Dead, one that's made like, by that episodic game. Well, no, they're making that one that Telltale made. Well, they're making one that's not even episodic. It's just more of a um, it's based off the comic books, but it's like a co-op. It's more it's a co-op game. I think I heard about that a while ago. It it just they just started talking about that today on online and everyone's talking. Because I've known for a while they were working on another different Walking Dead game, one that's not about Clementine and the other characters from the episodic game that the Telltale Games made. Telltale Games is also the same company that makes the that made the game The Wolf Among Us. Yeah, so I, was supposed I to never be. played that game, but I know two best friends I played heard that. It was really good. I know two best friends played that like not that long ago on their channel. I don't watch many of their videos because they make videos literally like most of their videos are like a half hour longer video. So like I can't like put myself through the time to watch like a half hour video like from every video from them. It gets kind of boring. Game Grumps it's awesome because they make videos like between 10 and 15 minutes most most of their videos. 
How are you doing over there, Sean? <laughs> he, has, he looks like he's having fun. Fantastic. How are you liking the vape cube? I'm fucking loving it. I wish I could make like- That ball of crap was about to run me over. It looks like a ball of shit when it's run rolling. I was so surprised. I was not expecting that the vape cube would actually work with the actual control ports. But think about it too. A vaporizer, at least sick, if you will, is a very simple Oh, device. I will. There's yeah. a battery, and there's an atomizer. Yeah, well, this has more shit to it than... No, not really. It's the same basic principle. Yeah. The actual name... I don't like principles. Today, yeah. It's the battery. The atomizers and the mouthpieces are what actually have the thing. The power is being supplied there, which is going to be atomizer, which heats up, which heats up the vape. Uh, yeah, the liquid. But that's it. It's not... Come on, where the battery. fuck are the missiles? I'm, like, getting no it's missiles. Not that hard of, concept, I'm of course it's not. I'm getting, like, no missiles. The game's like, fuck you, you're not getting any more missiles from us. Do you have missiles? Oh! Oh! Right here. You don't have any. I got some. There you go! He's done! You're done, Thardis! You're done- You're done in rings, son! I didn't uh, say that. Done in rings? Kevin started last night, he's like, When did you start saying down a clown? I've never heard anybody say that, except you just now. Wait, down a clown or down with- Clown. It's down to clown, but I told him and Jeffrey, I'm like, it, uh, like Sean says it, like, down with the clown, and that sounds like something you would hear Dr. Zoiberg say. And then Jeff goes like, down with the clown! You actually said So look, this, this ability is fucking awesome, and it's in all three games. Oh, we got another morph ball. It's called the spider ball. Spider ball? Yes. Oh, you can climb up walls. How'd you know that? Cause it's a spider, what else would it be? I know, but look. Watch, what are you gonna, what, 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 you yeah, gonna oh, shoot on webs? Oh, oh, oh. That's awesome. So, magnetic rails now. There are a few more artifacts we can get to now because of having this ability. What's the point of that one there? What? The one, like, down below you. It's like, you can go up, but you can't go fully up. Uh, so, I don't know. Some of them are just, like, weird. Alright, then. Some of them I just ignore. What were I gonna say? But now we can do this shit, dude. I'm happy. I'm like, oh, you said, how did I, how did I know that's a spider ball? Well, what did you expect? You wanted me to say, oh, it's gonna... You know everything. It's gonna fucking, what do you call it, shoot spider webs? What is this, Spider Samus? Spider Samus, Spider Samus. Has does a whatever big, a Spider Samus does. Has a nice, big, fat ass, and huge tits. <laughs> that ball is pretty huge. Oops! Yo, don't open that ball, you're gonna kill everyone. What I really can't wait to get is the grapple beam. That way we can grapple across the ceilings. Yeah, why'd you open that ball? Uh, to put my... No, it there's an infinity stone on it, you can't do that. <laughs> Can't do it. Oh wow! Jokes was, about Guardians of the Galaxy. What was the no? I I, I saw it when I, when I saw it first when they were talking about the um the Infinity Stone. I couldn't. I this saw the thing. From, I saw the thing from the Avengers, but I couldn't remember what it was. What was it called? The the, te the Tesseract. There you go. The Tesseract. There you go. I'm pretty sure all this is gonna go together now. And all all the the Tesseract and that and that uh Infinity the Infinity Stone Stone. And what other what other um? There's not other other ones, other. Uh, I mean, cause they showed a bunch of them in like that. Thing. The only ones I know of, the, other than that, is the fucking the Tesseract. Well, Tesseract's pretty damn. Tesseract can even hold armies. You can't kill people with it though. The Infinity Stone kills actual, like land. And if your body can't handle it, you die. Like that dumb bitch in a movie. Spoiler. Well, spoiler alert. So if you want to skip ahead, I'll put in the timestamp to let you know when we stop. I talking mean, I, about actually, it. I actually applaud For, her. Uh, she did something really brave, though. I applaud when her. When that when that dumb bitch in a movie just like couldn't handle it and she killed herself. I don't. I don't blame her though. I mean, she she didn't want to be the slave anymore. She she. she I understand free. that. But she set herself free. I understand that, but she almost killed other people than just herself. Yes, but she didn't understand. She didn't know what the consequence was. So she just decided, oh, I'm gonna kill yeah. myself. People that can't handle something like that powerful shouldn't even have that. Just like how if you don't know how to use something, you shouldn't have it. Well, no one knew what it was at first in the movie, so they all had it in the, the beginning. No, 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 no. Don't, don't even fucking... Well, I'm just saying... I'm don't saying, even rationalize this. No I'm, no, I'm just saying they didn't know what it was in the first place. That's why they had it. I mean, they didn't know what it was. Like how the other day with my friend Jameer at work, she said that she had rung up someone that literally didn't know how to use their food stamps card. And I said straight away, Are they if, cards? Yeah. You know what food stamps are. The food stamps are like a card. I thought they were actual stamps. 
No, I thought that too until I started working at Beat It. Is. I mean, I never used. But food. no, I don't use food stamps. I'm not. They're blue cards. Yeah, but wouldn't you think you've seen other people using? I'm not. Them? I'm not a poor. Per I don't. I don't actually ever see. I don't actually ever see people actually using it. So I wouldn't know to be honest. Like, I don't see poor people using it. it. Doesn't necessarily have to be poor. Well, I'm not gonna rationalize and say, "Oh, it's just black people." Like, you made this. You made that point already. On yeah. The show. No. We're not, I'm not gonna rationalize. I'm just gonna say poor people because that's mostly what poor people actually use it. I mean. But what fucking, like, she told me that there was, like, a, someone that she had rung up who was, like, didn't know how to fucking use a food stamps card. And then she, I said to her when she told me that, I'm like, are you serious? And then I said, if they don't know how to use their own food stamps card, they shouldn't even have food stamps. You shouldn't have something and take that much responsibility for something if you don't know how to use it. So basically... Don't you agree with that? Well, it makes a lot of sense. I mean, you gotta. It's like, it's like saying, "Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm 20. I got my license. I'm gonna buy a car. I don't know how to use it though." Exactly. Like, like, or or if you have a car and you don't know how to fucking drive. By the way, there was I'm there was an asshole earlier during my driving lesson who was like getting mad because I didn't. I forgot to put on my turn signal when I was turning in left to pull into that block next to my uh block, this block Reeves. Mm -hmm. And he's young. I mean, he's like. Turning signal, and I wanted to just yell back to him like, "Go fuck yourself." You should have just been like this. You should have just, just you, you could have lied to him like it's broken. Shut the fuck up. Well, didn't the car I, say student driver? Yeah. I wanted to just say wait, to him. Wait, doesn't say student driver? Can I talk? Yeah. Thank I you. wanted to just say to him, "Shut the fuck up and give me a fucking break." I'm new here. I'm not an expert driver like you. I'm new to this shit. Well, everyone does that. Do they want. They did it to me when I was fucking pulling, pulling out of, um, what the fuck was it? Right over here. <laughs> right over here by my <laughs> Sex joke. By the way, I watched the top 11, uh, trailers list earlier. Uh, that was, what? that was a video last week from Nostalgia Critic. I forgot to watch it last week. It's like about, like, movies where the trailers look better than the movies. And that, that's how a lot of movies are these days. Oh, I gotta see that. And one of the, well, I think the 11th one, because he goes list from 11 to 10, was freaking Pirates of the Caribbean at World's End. He was saying... Uh, that movie was confusing he, to me. He's saying that movie may have been hated by many, but the trailer made it number one at the box office. That, that movie was confusing to me when I first saw it. I actually didn't care for all of the movies of that. I only very only saw the uh, very first one, and then I just stopped caring about the The series. first two were, were the best. Third one, it was like, yeah, I got confused by it. And then we're going to end the episode once I get this energy tank. We're very yeah, close. Yeah, we need, we need to end it soon. Because Kevin, we gotta figure out what Kevin's doing. Well, it's gonna be very soon, right now. Yeah! Energy tank! High five! Good night. Now we got six energy tanks. Let's vape to that? Yeah. Alright, give me two hoses. I'm definitely fucking... Oh, no, give, me, give me four. I'm gonna do it. <laughs> Alright, give me all of them. Don't kill yourself, man. Don't worry, don't let him do it. You know what was weird? The guy, who's, the guy bubble. who sells us didn't know, didn't know, and had to be taught by by a cop, by a, by a commenter on YouTube. I thought you were gonna say a cop. No, he didn't know that. Oh, to get the best, like to get the best flavors, yeah. you could put two, you could put two hoses in your mouth. He did not know that. <laughs> apparently, you just said put two hoses in your mouth. Hey, I do it all the time. I'm a <laughs> basic bitch. Put two hoses in your mouth. <laughs> I got a bubble gum one, and I got a. All right, so we are gonna end it right here. Alright guys, uh, next episode we're going to cross that lava path. See you guys next episode. Peace out. Don't drop the fucking Wii, man. Yeah, pull it back up. Hey guys, if you like this video and this series, please check out our other series on the channel, to the left and to the right. I hope you enjoy them. Also, please like, comment, and subscribe to our YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram accounts above. Brandon's Facebook to the top left, my Facebook and Instagram account to the top right, and follow Kristen's DeviantArt to the left. If it wasn't for her, we wouldn't have an intro to our videos. Also, she has some great work on there, so check that out as well. And, as always, thanks for watching. See you guys in the next episode.